Hello, in this session, we are going to look at the last provisioner that we have, which is your remote exec. So, in the last two sessions, we have looked at your local exec, uh, which can be used to execute commands on a local machine. Uh, then we have looked at your file provisioner, which can be used to copy file or a set of files to the remote machines. And the last we have is your remote exec. Now, remote exec can be used whenever you want to execute something on the remote machines, like you want to execute a command or you want to execute a script on the resource that your Terraform is creating, then we can make use of your remote exec for that. So this can be used uh, as a configuration management tool or you can use this to bootstrap the server and for other different purposes. All right, so here is my uh, resource block. All right, so this is the resource block where we are launching our EC2 instance. Then I have defined my connection block. Now in the last session, if you can observe the code, my connection block was inside the provisioner block. However, this time my connection block is outside the uh, uh, provisioner block. Now, in this case, what will happen is this connection block becomes a global connection settings, which can be used with multiple provisioner block. In the last session, we had created a local provisioner block, which is applicable only to that specific local provisioner okay so first we are using a file provisioner to copy a file my source to destination and then we are using the remote exec to execute that script so basically we'll have some instructions in this script so as a step one we will copy we will first upload that script to the remote resource and then we will execute some uh, instructions so we'll give execute permission to the script and then we will execute that script on the remote resource by making use of this remote exec so like this, if you want to execute something on the remote machine, we can make use of your remote exec for that. Now, the remote exec uh, provisioner requires a connection and supports both SSH and WinRM. So here, um, like we did for the file provisioner, remote exec also needs a connection block in order to connect to the remote machine. And we can either use the SSH uh, connectivity or we can use the WinRM connectivity depending on your machine. So let's see an example for this. So here I have all the code that uh, we are going to use for this example. All right. So here uh, let's start writing this one by one. So first we'll use the provider.tf file where we'll define our uh, provider block. So let's create a provider.tf file. So this becomes my provider block. Then we will go with your locals where we'll define our tags. So this will be my locals.tf. Uh, let me just update this because I'm using this from the previous example. So this will be a remote exec and this one will be a remote exec. We'll save this. Then uh, let's go with our uh, main.tf where we have our main code. All right, so this becomes my resource block. So main.tf. So once again, we are defining our um, resource. This is the connection block. All right. So this is same as what we has we had used in the file uh, provisioner. So SSH is the connectivity. Ubuntu is the username. This is where my private key is available. So I'm telling uh, Terraform to read this PEM file from this path and use that for the connectivity. We are getting the public IP from this resource and we're using SSH for the connectivity. Now here we have two provisioner block. The first provisioner which will copy the file, this source file to my destination file. And then I have the remote exec uh, provisioner block which will execute these two commands on this file for us. So like this, if you want to execute any commands on the remote machine, we can make use of your remote exec for that. So let me save this file. Then uh, here is the script we are going to use. So this is the script. Okay, so it's a simple Linux script. So let me create this script.sh file. So what are we doing here? We are updating the machine. We are installing Apache 2. We are creating a, a index.html file. Uh, this is the content we are going to put. We are going to copy that index.html file to var www.html and then we are starting the Apache service. Okay, so this is the script that will get executed. Then we are going to have our uh, variables where all our variables are defined. So this will be my variables. So variables dot 
pf so this becomes my variables and then we are having our terraform.tfrs where we have all of our variable values so let me take this and we'll create terraform.tfrs and this becomes my values so this is the configuration that we have let's initialize this now let's generate a plan so here you can see we are creating one resource and let's apply this so let's apply this and we'll auto approve this so this will um, start launching one ec2 instance and whatever we have given in the provisioner in our main.tf file uh, let me open this so it will first copy the file and then it will uh, set execute permission and then execute that script for us so let's wait for this to complete so here we should be able to see a new instance getting created so here you can see remote exec provisional example so it's in the pending status so let's wait for the instance to be available waiting for the resource to be created this is still showing pending so just waiting for that it's taking some time The instance is still in the pending status. I'm just waiting for the instance to be available. Okay, so there's my file provisioner. And this is the script, the remote exec. So whatever the uh, instructions, the commands we are given in the remote exec, it will start executing that. So here you can see connecting to remote via SSH. That's the host username. We are using the private key and the instructions. So whatever the uh, instructions we have in the script dot sh, you should be able to see the output of that over here. All right. So we are installing this Apache two. So that uh, output you should be able to see over here all right so you can see apache 2 and uh, the subsequent instructions and this is completed so now let's go and look at our resource so here this is the resource and let's connect to this and let's validate whether uh, it is correct or not so here is the resource now let's connect to this and validate whether um, uh, the remote exec is executed or not so here I will log in to the new instance and uh, we have copied our um, script dot sh so here you can see this is the script dot sh right so here is the instructions we have 
and in the temp we are creating this index.html file so if you look at that we should be able to see the index.html file right so uh, now if i just hit this ip address i should be able to see our index.html file right so this is what your remote exec is so whenever you want to execute some commands or some scripts on the remote machine on the new resource that we have created then we can make use of your remote exec for that all right so this completes your uh, terraform provisioner so once again we have the uh, local exec when we want to execute something on the local machine we have the file provisioner if you want to upload if you want to copy some file or a set of files to your remote machines and then we have the remote exec which is uh, when you want to copy um, sorry when you want to execute some commands or some scripts on the remote machine we can make use of your remote exec for that that's it for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video